Welcome back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Heaven Hill uh, graciously shared this. It's pretty sweet. 25th anniversary, 13 year old Fitzgerald bottled and bond. We are spoiled and we do acknowledge it. <laughs> now this, you know, doesn't normally happen. We don't. It does not normally happen. Uh, I don't think we've ever gotten a. Uh, we've gotten media samples of the old Media Fitz samples bottles. before. This was because it was an event uh, held at Heaven Hill Distillery mm. and it's to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Old Fitzgerald. So, quick little bit of history. Back in 1999, you know, after the, the uh, distillery burnt down in 96, in 99 they were able to buy the Bernheim Distillery there in Louisville. Mm. And with that purchase came this label of Old Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. So it's 25 years since they have had uh, Old Fitzgerald. This distillate, or this it's was liquid. liquid, it was distilled in 1999, 13 years later. I'm like, that doesn't add up. And yeah, well it was then vatted, 13 years later, because they were tasting it and they were like, this is exceptional, we need to halt its aging. They got it out of barrels, poured it into a stainless steel vat. And just saved it for a special occasion? Right, they were like, Mm, let's hold this until there's some, you know, reason. So the marketing team at that point was like, we'll All give right, you a reason. We'll, we'll find let one. you know <laughs> in about 10 years or so. So 25th anniversary, they were like, hey, how about that 13 year that's been sitting around? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. That brings us to now. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're probably familiar with this label, 100 proof, bottle and bond. Yes. Mm -hmm. Generally, two releases a year, a spring and a fall. Technically, like the spring and the fall, I think, are released more widely. Yes. This one is Kentucky only because it was a smaller yield mm -hmm. and then also primarily at the Heaven Hill Bourbon Experience right. uh, so in Bardstown. You can tell that by the color of the labels. So Which I is, learned for the first time. Yeah, maroon, so it's going to be uh, more limited. More limited. Uh, I think the fall is the black label, yeah, and, and the, green. the green is the spring. spring. So in case three you, colors. I didn't know that. I've yeah. always I thought I had to do something with the age or they yeah. just decided to change it up. Learn that at the events. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. Wow. <laughs> right? What? Yeah, so. That smells. Vintage. -y. Vintage. -y. Vintage. -y, for vintage sure. funk oak caramel. Caramel forward, yes. Very. I mean, you don't smell things put out today that smell like this, because this smells like the bourbon of yesteryear. <laughs> the days 90s. Of days of yore. You know? Yeah. Days of yore. Yeah. Not to like build the hype, because again, allocated, mm. expensive release, $230 MSRP. Sarah, this was distilled in the 19th century. Or the 20th, 20th century. century, yeah, in the yes. 1900s is what in I meant to say. In the 1900s. In the 20th in the century, 20th. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I was born in the 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. And I was a prospector. Yeah, uh, rich, oh, I can thick. I smell this all day. Uh, you know, sometimes we say things smell viscous, like it's gonna have a good mouthfeel, a good texture, and that's what this smells like. Yeah, caramel <sighs> forward. Uh, it does have the oak on there, but the oak I don't feel like is overpowering at all. It's just all in a really nice balance. I can see why at 13 years they were like, hey, let's let's halt yeah. this development and uh, let's arrest this development and uh, put it into vats. There's like strangely a hint of rosemary on the nose, rosemary. but I don't think it's herbal like in a rye way. I think that's just the vintage funk mm -hmm. translating to fresh cut rosemary. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can see that. All right, well, right. enough smelling to your health. <laughs> oh, he likes it. I giggled. <laughs> he giggled. It's like when Ron Swanson giggles. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's it's always the best. <laughs> or however yeah, however he do does it. it. When all your bacon and all your eggs. That is something. Wow. The finish. It takes you on a flavor journey, that's for sure. On. Again, I don't want to hype things too much that I don't want to be like, huh, this is great, good luck. <laughs> but um, well, if we're just talking about this bottle yeah. overall. If you're coming to Kentucky, it's, like, yeah, it's a reason. It's a reason. I mean, if you gave this to me blind, I would swear vintage. And I guess technically it kind of is since it was distilled and batted, but like. I mean, 1999. Is not that. Distilled. It's 25 years ago, as much as we try to refuse to acknowledge that. Yeah. It's 25 years ago. So it's not like you're drinking a 25 year old bourbon which, you know, can happen, rarely, but it happens. Uh, it's a 13-year-old bourbon, but it's from the 90s. Yeah. The end of the and 90s. And it tastes like it. It does. It has more oak on it than I got from the nose. I agree. I would have guessed this, I don't know. Uh, I should probably have a second sip before I say what I would guess yeah. this. 
While we wait, we want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this cast strength and unfiltered shirt that I'm wearing. Sarah, the hoodie that you are wearing. It's very comfy. My hat, uh, the Glen Cairns that we're drinking from. In fact, all of our glassware is there, including rocks glasses and copitas. Bottle cut candles, the new elemental elixir cocktail syrup, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And come be our friend and join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And uh, that's where we release our barrel picks. Uh, we've got our discounts on that merch Chad was talking about. After the episode <coughs> exclusives, it's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Boom. All right, now, officially ready for that second sip. I don't know if I'll ever be ready for this to be over. <laughs> it is wow. a pricey pour. Wow. You know, for for $230 for a 13 year. We can talk about that real quick. Yeah. Normally, I feel like this line specifically is the one that sort of um, kickstarted that whole $10 a year thing. It kind of adheres so more much. to that, so. If it's a 13 year, you would think it'd be $130. Maybe 150, 160. But if this were a 13 year, modern, reg reg yeah, modern it might be $130, but that would have been made 13 years ago, whatever 2024 minus 13 years mm -hmm. uh, is. 2011. Thank you, 2011. This is 1999. So that extra $100 is you are tasting something that was distilled in the 90s. If you are a fan of vintage whiskeys, I think that this is one that I would recommend that you try to find. Because again, you're also going to, I think nowadays, see a lot of vintage 80s, 90s stuff, especially marked way up. We're looking at four yeah. or $500 a bottle <clears throat> for something similarly, you know, proof aged. But to be able, if you could get this for 230, I think that that, you're gonna get a, a good experience. It would be good for you. So I guess like if they put this out when, once they got it out of barrels, it would have been released in 2012, right? I'm I guess doing, that's right. Doing my math yeah, right? I don't know. So if you saw a oh, 13, bottle yeah. that was mm -hmm. sold in 2012 here in 2024, you would expect to pay more. at least two hundred thirty dollars, but more likely um, more. So there, there is that fact about it. The one it. I'm thinking of, Chad, is the uh, Anderson Club. Yeah. The Anderson mm -hmm. Club 15 year, which is what proof 90, 92, is... something like that. It's something like that. <laughs> we see those bottles regularly go for four hundred dollars, three, four, uh, and upwards. Yeah. Um, and it's very good, but also, you know, Heaven Hill, also 90s. Yeah, pre fire. Pre fire, Different right? Distillery. Different, right. But still somewhat similar. Here you're getting not quite the same age, but you're getting a little more proof. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you could save the money, it's very comparable, in my opinion. I agree. Honestly, I might like this better, if I'm being honest. <sighs> uh, I mean, it's got the proof. Like the viscosity, yeah. Yeah, it's got the viscosity. It's very close in that mm. age with what it's offering. Uh, I had said I was gonna take a second sip and then say what I would think I would guess it just Oh, I've just age. been sipping um, at this point. This It's got me. I would call this a 15 just by the taste. I think 13 to 15 is fair. Yeah. It's got a substantial amount of oak. And again, I just love that vintage something. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I agree, yeah, wow. So yeah, $230 limited bottle, but it's worth it and we would recommend it. For that price, not saying what people are gonna try to oh, charge yeah. for it, no. but for that suggested 230, we would recommend it. It's, I feel like it's worth it for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sarah, best of the year contender? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. For sure. Um, um, might ruffle some feathers because it's Kentucky it so only. so limited, yeah. But take all that out of account, best of the year contender because of the taste. We'll put it on the list and then revisit the clauses later clauses. as we get closer to the end of the year terms we'll and see conditions. more of terms and conditions and mm -hmm. see what people think yeah. Um, but yeah i definitely think it should be a consideration wow, wow. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that's where we better leave it trust mm. me if you haven't subscribed to us already you can do so by clicking right up here there's suggestions of other videos down here and hope to see you over there in one of those thanks sarah thanks chad okay thank you heaven hill until thanks. next time drink more bourbon